episode of Renegade was brought to you by Flannel Shirts because it's 1992 and that shit is really in right now. <laughs>
The sequel to the critically acclaimed film, The Social Network, is here. Social Network 2, Zuckerberg. Mr. Zuckerberg, Jamie Dimon, CEO J.P. Morgan Chase, will be handling your IPO. I heard a rumor that your company lost a lot of money. <laughs> We're a bank. We don't lose money. People give us money. A film so big, there's no way they'll make back the budget. All right, we'll open the stock market at 60 to $65 a share, okay? Morgan Stanley, you guys got a problem with that? Yeah, but that would make the company worth almost $200 billion. Nobody is worth that much. Yeah, but this is Facebook. Yeah, this is Facebook. Oh, what's the problem with my stock price? We're just concerned about how Facebook is actually going to make money. Listen, I'm wearing a hoodie, so that clearly means that I'm more concerned with the social aspects of the network than I am with the business end of things. Listen, these guys have 900 million subscribers. There's plenty of money to be had. Our research analysis shows that a company would have better luck going out on the street and asking a random person for money than buying a Facebook ad. What are your thoughts, Mark? Hello, hoodie. All right, fine. We'll set the share at $38 a share, all right? And then people will think it's a bargain. It's got all the drama you expect from a film about a website where people post stories about their day. <laughs> Is it true that you moved outside of the U.S. to avoid paying $64 million in back taxes? Well, yes, but I had a very good reason. And that is? I didn't want to pay $64 million in back taxes. <laughs> <laughs> it's got romance. Patricia Chen, will you be my wife? Oh, Mark, I'm so happy. Just how much did you say you were going to make on that IPO? And it's got action, sort of. in three days. You guys gotta buy, damn it! But Chase just lost two billion dollars. How many more losses can we take? Uh, it's fine, it's fine. I'll set the uh, ATM fees at sixty-two fifty a transaction. <laughs> Alright, just, uh, just get out there and buy, buy, buy! Social Network 2 starring Mark Zuckerberg. I wore my dress hoodie from the movie. Also starring Priscilla Chan Zuckerberg. Mark, you're not the sucker. I mean, man, I thought I married you. And co-starring the U.S. government. And Obama is going to force the Commerce Department to launch an investigation into the Facebook IPO prices. God damn it, Joe. Oops. That yeah. social network, too. Coming soon, if that damn Avenger movie stops hogging all the theater. <laughs> Sir, I'm Latino, look at me. <laughs> you were born <laughs> to an American couple at a Mormon compound outside of Chihuahua. That makes you just about as Latin as a Nacho Libre bottle. Then. All right, well, screw the Latin vote then. I still don't understand why women don't like me. Look at this jawline. I'm like a regular Van Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows who that is. Put another nickel in the ad the upside is, when Obama attacked you and called you a vampire, you gained points with the Fifty Shades of Grey demographic. Yes, my wife Anne reads that book and I do not approve. Why they would write a sequel to the picture of Dorian Gray is ridiculous. It's sacrilege. Sir, it's not a sequel it's to the... It's best to get involved. Okay? <laughs> Sir, if you want to gain points with the Latin voting women, you're going to have to attract a running mate that uh, scores points with those two demographics. Good, what do you propose? Governor Romney? One at a time, one at a time, one at a time. One at a time. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you my running mate and the future Vice President of the United States, Lorenzo Lamas. <laughs> I'm proud to stand before you today. And as my father said in the old days, se movimiento de nuestra andando. Which means, which means, which means, actions speak louder than words. Yeah! I'd like to take a small opportunity to talk about my ideas to reduce government spending. Whoa, whoa, hold on there, Freddie Boy. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> You said if I did Taekwondo, I could talk about my ways to reduce the tax code. Well, I lied. Now take off that shirt and pour this water jug over your head like you do in the opening scene of Renegade. Do it! Oh my gosh, they're about to start the countdown. This is so exciting! It is. You know, I wish, I wish I was there.
there. I know, it's too bad the SpaceX shuttle's being launched by a private corporation. We have to watch him on TV. Yeah, here it goes. Three, two, one. Let's go! Wow, oh wow. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, oh wow. You know, ever, ever since I was a little kid, I, I wanted to go into space. <laughs> I wonder what it's like up there. I know. I love all things space. Yeah. You know, maybe we should have gotten jobs at a place that deals with space exploration. Yeah. Working at NASA sucks. <laughs> I am sure you haven't left the house in days. You're a mess. You are not even wearing pants. Good. Because it's date night. I know what that means. You're going to Google pictures of Willem Dafoe and drag and watch it yourself. Man gets stored that sells organic mushrooms from Arizona. Pretentious cuisine won't cure your loneliness. How many ounces have a cup? 47. Oh, I knew that. That was a lie. You're not even listening to me. Now remind me in an hour to put the gazpacho on ice. That Portuguese missionary you dismembered in the basement? Yeah. <laughs> Unless you like hot gazpacho. You are a disgusting person. Siri. I'm serious. One day the world will know you for who you are. You can take the head off. I hate you. That's it. <laughs> French President Francois Hollande said that France would withdraw its troops from Afghanistan by year's end. Considering it's the French, it's amazing they lasted this long. <laughs> At a special EU summit, Hollande challenged Germany's Chancellor Angela Merkel on Eurozone matters. Contentious issues included debt liability, bank recapitalization, and which nation's food leads to the earliest heart attack. <laughs> Comedian Beppe Grillo has shaken up Italian politics by winning a local election. His popularity is due to powerful slogans like, the European Union is like airplane food. Who's with me? <laughs> and French people be crazy, y'all. <laughs> and if you vote for the other guy, you might be an Italian redneck. <laughs> The Beijing Symphony Orchestra has fired a Russian cellist for being rude to a fellow train passenger. I don't know what sounds more communist, Beijing, Russia, cellist, or train. <laughs> As we saw earlier, SpaceX's Falcon 9, the first commercial flight to the International Space Station, launched this week. The flight is unmanned, but the computer guidance system was charged an extra $35 for carry-on luggage. <laughs> On Wednesday, Egyptians began voting freely for the first time to pick their new president. Here to comment are some Egyptians. <laughs> For my whole life I live under oppression of Hosni Mubarak and, and now I'm so excited that I get to vote for, for someone that represents me and my people. Well, some international watchdogs have expressed concern over the legitimacy of the counting process. Uh, some worry that it's being done by the wrong people. George, why there is cause for concern, we as free Egyptians can no longer live in fear of everyone else. We, to become a better nation, we must learn to work together and, and to trust one another. Okay, well, so I gotta ask, who did you all vote for? Oh. Oh. George. <laughs> like in Egypt, it is common decency to keep our political opinions to ourselves. We're not in Egypt now. This is America. Come on, I won't tell anybody. Uh, okay. Okay, I tell. I tell. Okay, I vote for um, I vote for for uh, Mahmoud Morsi, uh, the 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 candidate for the Brotherhood of Muslims. <laughs> uh, I, I vote for the candidate who best represent me. Oh, I'm sorry. I. I didn't realize you enjoyed forcing burkas on women and allowing only men to drive cars! No, hey, I said nothing about burkas! But I do agree with the car thing, women cannot drive! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I voted for Abdul Fattah, he's the best man for the job. If you want to hear me running the country... Well, shut up! Oh, go to hell! I kill your boss! Don't worry about it! Men in Black 3 premiered. Here to regale us with blurbs from news organizations across America are the cast of Second City this week. If I had to rate them, I would say 1. Men in Black 2. 2. 
Men in Black 1. 3. Men in Black 3. Robert Smith, the Euclid Weekly Penny Saver. <laughs> I now believe aliens are real, and my older sister keeps on scaring me at night until I wet the bed. When I grow up, I want to be a firefighter. Jonathan Thomas, first grade Gazette. <laughs> Will Smith strikes again by bowling a strike with this movie. Lester Hamilton, Southland Bowling Newsletter. <laughs> <laughs> I will be out of the office until Tuesday. <laughs> Happy Memorial Day. Roger Ebert, Chicago Sun. <laughs> <laughs> They're world class team now. We defeated their city, so what's theirs is ours. That's the official rule. Now we gotta start acting like a world class city. Now we gotta start acting like LA. LA? Yeah, give me that drink before I rip my skinny jeans. Just <laughs> bought the skinny collection from Target. Skinny, skinny, skinny. <laughs> Don't you need Target? Yeah, if I was a backwards hillbilly, fuck my cousin. <laughs> I'm not. I'm a sophisticated socialite now. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Oh, I need a drink. I quit my job. At the refinery? What happened? Well, since the Thunder beat the Lakers, it inspired me. I decided to follow my true calling, film and television acting. Acting? I prepared some scenes from Cruel Intentions. <laughs> <clears throat> the only way, the only reason I allowed this charade to continue is because he's got a mouth like a hoover. Woof! <laughs> Good job, get a drink, it's on me! Well, in that case, I'll get a super skinny bitch. <laughs> what is that? Well, you just flick vodka into my mouth. <laughs> that jukebox is my baby. I personally pick each and every one of those country hits my Well, that may be the case, but it doesn't have the best song of all time on it. Funds, we are young. Oh, I love that song! song. You guys do not love that song. I could listen to that song every hit until my ears play it. <laughs> Bartender? What? I need to use your Wi Fi. I've been writing a screenplay. <laughs> it's about a young boy who's a very sensitive fellow, he's a romantic type, and he's a coming of age story. He's very romantic, he has sex with too many women. Or men? Oh my god, that's brilliant. Here's my headshot. Here's my headshot. Here's my headshot. Are you passing out a headshot? I am so happy. I'm going to do something really LA. Put it on my unemployment card. so you can get out and play. What the hell was going on? Actors came out here and did some kind of a commercial? It's brilliant. Thank you. Yeah, I get it. All we have to do is track who's using the ad zapper, and then we send this live crew of actors to their homes. That's right. The studies show that people don't pay attention to television ads. These kinds of ads are much more effective. Uh, balderdash. <laughs> what was the product we just saw? Tide. The rest of my kids. Oh, this is absurd. Mom, I need my uniform for the big game. But it's covered in grass stains, Timmy. Oh, no, what am I going to do? Don't worry, I've got Tide. It gets the stains out. 
Ty, gets the stains out so you can get out and play. <laughs> Men who are under a lot of pressure and need time to think. You forgot our anniversary. Mom! I need my uniform to fit again! But Timmy, it's covered with grass stains. What am I gonna do? Don't worry, I bought Tide. It gets the stains out. Tide gets the stains out so you can get out and play. Uh, I stopped the robbery earlier. I've been at the police station all afternoon. Oh, sweetheart! Well, <laughs> I have to admit. That was a marvelous ancillary use of a commercial. But you're forgetting one thing, Donaldson, one thing very important. Expense. Who the hell's gonna pay for the actors? Peters, this is Los Angeles. We get these actors in equity raver rates. <laughs> <laughs> Capital 
was nauseating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and what else did you say? I said enough was enough. Corey, what are we? You and I? Democrats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Democrats are tolerant. Except of opposing opinions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great messiah of the Democratic Party, please forgive my transgression against the Chicago dictated orthodoxy. I swear to never have my own opinion again, and I will always sing your praises, whether to David Gregory or one of the other similar looking white dudes who host Sunday morning programs. Praise Obama. You have to please me, Corey Booker. The tennis is almost over. First, I need you to walk through that door and go tickle Joe Biden. It's the only way he can fall asleep. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> it's good to be the king. <laughs> That's right, Rick. We're in for some excellent athletics and some bland food. You're right about that, Bob. <laughs> but the big story here is the European zone austerity measures and the dramatic effect they're having on the games. Let's go to our first event, fencing. <laughs> now, Rick, previously the fencing competition involved something different. This year, we're actually going to have the competitors build a fence. Yeah, <laughs> instead of wasting all that labor on silly sword fights when it can be put to good use. It looks like France and Italy are struggling out there, Rick. Yes. Oh, and Mexico buries the competition. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we always knew that the Mexicans can make it through a fence, but it turns out they're damn good at building them, too. <laughs> I said it's a Carlos Mencia joke in there somewhere, Bob. <laughs> well, let's head over to the Equestrian Center where we can take a look at the show jumping competition. Yes. Here we have Yuri Siminski of Slovenia. As you can see, he does not actually have a horse. His team was forced to slaughter all their horses for food. Well, the upside to that, Rick, is it's probably the best eating in this entire lining town. Tell me about it. I would kill for anything that doesn't taste like boiled shoe. <laughs> I guess it's lunchtime. That means it's time for the women's high down event. Now, the, uh, the Olympic water budget was depleted before the diving pool was filled. So, that's going to reduce this competition to a single round. All right, well, up first is Fiona Winthrop of Great Britain. She's only got one chance to make this perfect, Rich. One chance. Oh, a perfect <laughs> dive! I just don't know if it'll be good enough for a medal. Well, that's too bad, Rick. But, oh, I'm getting word that there's some exciting action going on over the Greco-Roman wrestling pavilion. And by exciting action, we mean gay porn. That's right. <laughs> As most people can't tell the difference between gay porn and Greco-Roman wrestling, the Olympic Committee has decided to buy the events and invite the viewers to participate and get in on the action. <laughs> <laughs> constraints, the modern pentathlon has been reverted to the old-time pentathlon. That's right. The old-time pentathlon consists of five events. Whiskey drinking, shoe repair, <laughs> living past the age of 30, <laughs> throwing rocks at people who are different than you, and wife slapping. <laughs> well, here are the Irish and Canadian competitors. Uh, it looks like we're joining them during the wife slapping portion of the event. <laughs> <laughs> here it is. We built this city. We built this city on rock and roll. We built this city. We built this city on rock and roll. You should all go see Men in Black 3. 
It is a wonderful film, and Will Smith is handsome and talented. <laughs> Wilma Smith, mother of Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> this movie makes a mockery of everything we stand for. Teresa Gumpratt, beautiful woman. A terrible movie with no mention of nursing or the nursing association. Tom Krause of the nursing association. <laughs> this movie was mechanically reproduced on celluloid and I was contractually obligated to watch it. Richard Schickel, Los Angeles Times. It's one of those movies that drags you from the get-go, bends you over the washing machine, and forces you to laugh without your consent while it lets its buddies watch. Tom Blackledge, former starting quarterback, Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> Los Angeles became the latest U.S. city to ban plastic bags at checkout lines because if there's something we hate in L.A., it's plastic. <laughs> the museum in Texas plans to display dinosaur bones and other fossils that are up to 3.5 billion years old. The exhibit will be called The Hall of Satan's Lies. <laughs> Animal rights activists are outraged that a mountain lion was shot and killed by Santa Monica police last Tuesday. Demands for an investigation were denied when it was discovered that the mountain lion was wearing a hoodie. <laughs> Although Sarah Palin did not endorse the Tea Party candidate in Utah, the right wing of the Republican Party still yields considerable power in Washington. Mr. President, Speaker Boehner, please have a seat. Uh, nice chair, sir. Uh, let's cut the chit chat, John. We both know why I invited you here. Yes, you want to raise the debt ceiling. That's right. And I don't want any shenanigans like last year. The American people won't stand for it. Mr. President, I agree. And I can assure you that we can come to a solution that will benefit both parties. Now, that's what I like to hear. Care for a drink? Yes, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> Some tea party members from the House are here. Oh. No, I don't want to drink, you commie socialist <laughs> pink of you! I came here to cut the deficit, and I'm not leaving until we do! Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just said that you were to uh, find an agreement that would be beneficial? To all hard-working Americans! Yes, that's what I said! Yeah. That's right, you... Yeah. Alright, look, just, just give me a minute, and, and I'll make a deal. I mean, I'll get everything we want! Yeah. Get a great talk, sir. Alright, yes, sir. Alright. Whew, what the hell was that, John? How about that drink, Mr. President? Mom! Mom! I need my uniform! <laughs> So you can get out and play. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a tight commercial? Sir? Yes, it was. It gave me time to think. Right? You can't come in here, tell me you want to compromise, and then tell me that you don't. I'm sorry, sir. It's just that I'm dealing with these people, and they're very. Uh, no! I will cut that deficit, Mr. President, if that's your real name. Oh! oh. Yeah. I'll believe it when I see it, Barack. Or should I call you by your real name, Mutumbo? Suddenly racist. Yeah, let me slap you. No, no, let me stop you, please. You will leave nothing of this. Oh, 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 did you see that? Yeah. Man, you're just bitch slapped Obama. Oh, right. Do it again. Do it again. Get out. All right, just give me a minute. I'm ready to close the deal. Oh, Free concert. Sure. Get, 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 get the fuck out of my office. Get out. Look, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I have to act the way in front of those people. What, uh, like, a, like a raging racist asshole? Yes. Look, they make up most of the Republican caucus. If I want to get anything done, I have to do what they say. I guess I can understand that. I mean, everybody answers to somebody. Barack Hussein Obama, what are you doing? Michelle, uh, 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 you listen here, Boehner. Um, uh, uh, yeah! oh, oh, I'm so sorry about that. So Michelle. Hey, I have my pants on this time! You see, all my life, I've had my looks. 
But I've always worried that people aren't looking past that to get to know the real me. Julian, yeah. girls, they love you. I tell them I'm gay. Oh! <laughs> so, yeah, that takes care of, like, they feel non-threatened, so yeah. you don't have to worry about your sexual prowess, and you can get to know them, huh? Yeah, then they find out I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Kevin, Baker, you're married to Asian women. Uh, yeah, that's it's Brian, yes. <laughs> oh, Brian, you know, uh, the Asian woman is the new trophy wife. You know that? Rap star, celebrities, Mark Zuckerberg. I'm not going to get any one of them. <laughs> yeah, I just, you know, met somebody, fell in love. Well, my wife and I are both Asian, so we were arranged. <laughs> <laughs> love? <laughs> arranged? Oh, man, come on, you guys. It, it's comedy, right? It's comedy. That's what gets the ladies. Comedy, right? I signed up for improv class. <laughs> yeah. You know, Lorenzo, I uh, oh. teach him. <laughs> well, uh, music Ooh. improv. Yes, and me, Kraus. <laughs> yes, yes, and you only teach music improv. See, the first, the first rule, Lorenzo, is that you say yes to everything. Yes. No, 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 you call the game. Game? Yeah. Yeah, just put a lot of emotion into it. I think improv is mostly just screaming. <laughs> <laughs> improv is a lot of object work, okay? So, so pull out your penis. But do it in a clever way, like a dance. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, so, so that's how you improvise. <laughs> My secret is, I quote scenes from Monty Python movies. <laughs> you know, uh, I won over my Asian bride by uh, showing her my Star Wars figurines. Oh. You know, I uh, won over my Asian bride's father by showing him my Star Wars figurines. <laughs> well, I have an advantage over most of these young bucks, you know. Well, you might just see a pudgy, balding Greek alcoholic. Or maybe <laughs> see a news junkie with, wait for it, a mathematics degree. No, oh, that's very interesting. <laughs> so let's just leave Lorenzo alone with his good looks, and while we go do the L.A. Kings sketch. <laughs> the L.A. Kings sketch yeah, coming up. There we got <laughs> so the knights came forth and said, Me! <laughs> uh, LA City Council just banned uh, plastic bags and grocery stores. Yeah. Uh, two squared plus three squared equals five squared. I'm pretty good. Yeah. My yeah. boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna get <laughs> and then we can play Dungeons and Dragons. Oh. You'd make an exception. <laughs> There's an hour and a half wait. <laughs> Do you guys want to try Ruby Tuesdays? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe they'll know who we are and they'll see. Just give it up. Give it up. <laughs> I, you know, I really like the breadsticks and olive oil here. Okay, fine. <laughs> we'll stay. <laughs> Name? Hmm. L.A. Kid, yes. right? You know, it's been a really long day. Can you just give me a freaking name? Yeah, sure. Uh, my name's Doug Doaker from, <laughs> from LA. <laughs> At this week's White Sox game in Chicago, Snoop Dogg threw out the first pitch. <laughs> Correction, Snoop Dogg threw out the first piach. <laughs> Tuesday, 19-year-old Rodney Hill was arrested for shooting eight people in Oklahoma City following the Lakers' loss. In his defense, that's eight more shots than Andrew Bynum made. A man admitted to a Colorado hospital for kidney stones got a surprise when doctors discovered that he had internal female sex organs. He was immediately demoted at his job, felt an overwhelming obligation to everyone in his family, and paid 17 times as much for a haircut. <laughs> the following ad is funded by Priorities USA Action. The Super PAC is really not affiliated with President Barack Obama. We swear. 
No affiliation. Get off our backs. Mitt Romney talks all the time about his record at Bain Capital, but what do you know about his real record? Ask some of his former employees. One time, we were all in the break room. Mitt Romney came in and spilled coffee everywhere. He never cleaned it up. <laughs> what an asshole. That doesn't stop there. This one time we were in the office and we were all just having a really good time. This is kind of a long story, so just bear with me. <laughs> and, um, I downloaded some pictures from the internet, and one of them was of a whale. And uh, there was a caption, the whale was diving into the ocean, and there was a caption that said, I don't always mate with other whales, but when I do, we never hump back. <laughs> and it, it was funny. At the time, people enjoyed it, and we all got a good laugh out of it. Mitt Romney, he said it was stupid. <laughs> and he took my internet away from me. <laughs> Mitt Romney or Mitt Douche? Listen to this lady. The other day, Mitt Romney bought lunch for everybody from Quiznos, and I ordered a sandwich with no ranch. Because who eats ranch on a sandwich? It's not a sauce. It's a dressing. Anyway, he brought me an Italian classic with ranch. And I ate it. And I threw up. And I didn't wash my mouth out. And I went home that night, and I gave my boyfriend a blowjob. He liked it. You're sick. But so is Mitt Romney. So this November, Say no to Mitt Romney. Funded by Priorities USA Action. Again, we are not affiliated with President Barack Obama. Please stop asking. Sincerely, Barack Obama. Oh, shit. <laughs> I am so excited for tonight because tonight we have a very special, special guest, Mr. Mitch. So, how do you say your last name? Yes, the, the first name is Mitch. Mitch Mitch? No. <laughs> first name is Mitch. It's, it's Mitch. Mitt Romney. That's my name. I'm Mitt Romney. Of course, you are, darling. Of course you are. And may I say, very impressive, huh? By today, the studio is going crazy. So much noise up and down the hallways. I tried to go to my dressing room, and there's a secret service. So tell me, Mr. Mitch, what services do they do, and why are they so secret, huh? <laughs> you know, I knew a young woman who performed services that weren't so secret, but you're really not supposed to say anything. You know what I'm saying, Doc? What was the question? <laughs> so, you, president, huh? Yes, uh, I time the country turns around and gets it back on track after four years. Have I told you that you look marvelous? Because you look marvelous. It's, it's like looking at the sun without the burning in the eyes. <laughs> and with the hair. So, you want to run the country, huh? Yes, uh, I think it's time the American people take the country back from a president that has absolutely destroyed it in ways that... And you think you know enough to run the country, huh, Mitch? Yes, I, Mitt Romney, have a plan uh, that I feel if we were to put forward. I see. Well, tell me then, where does Rancho Cucamonga, huh? <laughs> <laughs> because Fernando was asked to do a theater production of The Cats, and I can't find Rancho Cucamonga anywhere. <laughs> it's actually in Southern California. You see? You not only look marvelous, you, you think, you think marvelous. So, what else, Mr. Ronnie? Uh, I, I, if you don't mind, I'd like to talk about my plan uh, to help save the American economy. Have you seen the cats? <laughs> <laughs> the producer called me one day, he said, Fernando, I close my eyes and I see a young Tom Tyler. And I look at his face. And, and by this face, he meets Fernando's face. You know, Fernando, 
Poor American <laughs> parents are, more than ever before, trying desperately to feed their children. Right, well, it's been a ball of fun. <laughs> Has it now? Yeah. We have been to the top of Fun Mountain. <laughs> so join me next week when my next guest will be Francois Hollande of France and Demi Lovato. Remember, it's better to look good than to feel good, and you look marvelous tonight. Sliced bread and equally as entertaining, Harlow Chumper Pal. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So these are guys that keep an eye on the aliens and they travel through time if necessary? Sounds like another one of my ideas <laughs> ripped off by the Hollywood Jews. George Kalyonis, Aryan Gazette Week. <laughs> I liked it so much, I shit my pants. Don't worry, Timmy, I want to. <laughs> I need a voiceover agent. <laughs> a Maryland teenager won $75,000 for inventing a test for detecting pancreatic cancer. Allow me to repeat that for you, America. A kid got $75,000 for a vital cancer test, while Mark Zuckerberg earned $9 billion <laughs> figuring out a new way for you to stalk your high school girlfriend. <laughs> The inventor of the TV remote control died this week in Chicago. <laughs> Doctors say they would have been able to save him if they could have found some flippin' AAA batteries. <laughs> and now, a recap of some of our top stories. He's President Obama. Oh, he's Mark Zuckerberg. My stock is sounding lower than I planned. Nominee, this all break wapo is my running spray. Yeah, I've seen 